you land on the timeline to start with so the first thing to do is to navigate to the shift report application and you'll see lists so this one is the in progress so anything that's being developed right now or that you're involved in uh, you can see a list of all the previous published items and over on the right hand side you'll see some archived documents right so in order to start a shift report you click the big purple button you shift report and you'll see uh, a number of different fields so you can see at the top that you're able to control the visibility of the document so if i was to click uh, private or public on a multi-organization project i can select public so that everyone can see uh, and then you can see all the other details so mainly you know previewing the document the publish button adding collaborators and pre-filling from previous reports it says obviously as a time saver so you can see here i've also got a lot of the main top level uh, metadata for the shift report so what's the project number you can see the logo the team name any document reference numbers the date of the report is quite important what the title is perhaps that's summarizing which work group or package it relates to and you can see some of the key information about the site like the weather over here you can see the activity area and the downtime so these are the sections that deal with productive time so anything that events project and unproductive time where you've encountered problems so that would go into the downtime section further down you can see people equipment and material and they all relate to resources that are used and can also be allocated to activities or downtime so this is where you log people's hours equipment hours and material quantities there's a general note section for any sort of main narrative that you want to add uh, anything notable about the site and you can see the site health and environment section which allows you to record any any notable safety item uh, at the bottom you're able to attach site photography as well and that can be done from either the your device camera if you're using a mobile and the gallery which you can see on the left hand menu here as well so for this shift report we'll just pre-fill from previous so previous shift report most of the information does remain the same from day to day so the date has been updated to today's date by automatic and you can see that uh, it's pre-populated with lots of the activity so what we'll do is say today was sunny yesterday was cloudy so that's one difference between the two reports and we say our max temperature was higher today than it was yesterday but broadly uh, most of the activities are the same but we can just handle by exception now so we'll add a, an activity actually first I'll, I'll remove the activities that were completed yesterday because they obviously weren't worked on today so all of the other ones were in progress yesterday so we can update their progress if they were continued and if we started a new activity we can add it here so here we are describing the activity selecting which location it, it was associated with where it happened and we can say the progress achieved to date uh, we have a number of different units so we, we would choose percentage complete this one was a unplanned work we can say so um, something we might not have necessarily set out to do ahead of the shift but we managed to do it perhaps as an alternative activity so you can see in the downtime area yesterday we had some downtime which we didn't have today so i've removed that and you can see they already have existing people from yesterday who uh, can still be on site today and have continued broadly on the same activities have done the same amount of time but we can manage those as well by exception so uh, in this area I've added a new person so John Doe the, uh, sorry, John Doe the electrician uh, and he works for the same organization perhaps it was his first day on site so that's a new starter and then add activity so this is basically allocating his time to work so or activities say so you can say he repaired faulty electrical outlets in the first floor how many hours he spent doing that four we might add another one to complete his day installing electric conduits six hours so you can see this 
total hours for his day was automatically calculated. Here we have all the equipment that is was being used yesterday. Those items today, if they were used, we can allocate them as well. Just like just like people hours, we can allocate equipment hours as well to to activity. Then on the material section, you can see all the material that we're consuming. So we could, we, we could capture fire alarm panels by number. We've we've said that we've consumed two today whereas it was one yesterday we've just updated the quantity we might be doing continuous activities uh, and you've you've seen that the material can also be allocated to to these activities to these progress items so we had a safety note from yesterday that isn't uh, applicable today perhaps there was a new safety note to raise you can say a, tool, a toolbox talk was, was undertaken or delivered here and if we want to add photography that we've captured to prove our progress, we can add those from our device, which we've done here. An alternative, you might already have them in the gallery. If it's been uploaded during the day to, to the shape system, you can select from previously uploaded items and put them into the report to save double handling. So from there, we can just publish. And the best thing to do to get the output would be to publish an export the same time and you can take a PDF version by clicking that icon and there you go so that will send the item to your email so you receive an email like this with your site diary uh, showing the details here in the table but also with the final PDF as a, a attachment so as you can see in this example all the information that was captured by me in the in the application is now visible uh, and in this uh, ready to uh, distribute format so i can forward that on to my team if i want to distribute to different people in the team perhaps the, uh, the client pm or anyone else uh, in in my organization who could be a stakeholder uh, you can send directly out of your email once it's received